welcome to Reflacing Toddlers. Now that your mini kid cover has had a wash, it's time to put it back on again. I always find it easiest to put the headrest cover back on first because while this is all still clear of padded fabric, it's easier to get into the small gaps around the sides. Now the headrest cover has a hole in the top here and that's where this swivel lock goes. So you pass that lock bit through that hole and then pass the fabric down over the sides of the headrest. Pull it all down at the back to make sure it's in the right place. Now in the corners here, there's a little, one in each corner, a little elastic loop here and one there. And on the back of the headrest at the bottom is a tiny hook that you have to loop this elastic round. Now my left hand is touching that loop, that hook, so I know where it is. And my right finger is through the loop, so I just meet my fingers at the back and try and pass that elastic strap, which is not easy, over that little hook. Okay, I've done it. That one is done. I do the same thing on the other side. So I put my finger through that loop, pass it round the other side where that hook is. I've actually found it with one hand this time. Maybe because I'm right-handed, this one's a bit easier, but I've done it. So that one is hooked on as well. And then there are two zips along the bottom of the headrest, one on each side. So to close them, you just hold the headrest, grab the little tab and just push the zip all the way back. And the same on the other side. So now it's time to put the cover back on. To put the cover back on, you basically just reverse the process of removing it. So the last thing we removed was that little holder there that goes around this hole. So that's the first thing that goes back on. So you just, uh, there is a smaller gap here and a bigger gap there. So it's easier to start with that bigger gap at the back. So pass this through here and then through here and then force it over this corner and Put the straps on top and then the other one just push it down until all of that edge disappears under the plastic cover like this next up is the buckle put your left hand under the cover grab the buckle pass it up through this hole in the cover here um, not that easy but here it comes and then through the buckle pad towards the front and then it's time to put this rod back in with the five little pins. So you put that in from behind, from the white side. Every little pin goes through a hole in this white fabric. Oops, last one. There we are. And then you fold it twice. So it goes down once, twice. And then if you look here on the shell itself, there are five holes. So you just have to push those pins into those holes. One two, three, four, five. And now when you put the top half of the cover back on, you need to push the headrest down and lock it into place because that otherwise you won't be able to get the cover over the top. So you pull the cover all the way back over the shell and then pass the headrest through the big hole in the middle. That side first, that side, and now you just need to stick those bits of Velcro around the sides back down. There's one here along the top and there's one down here around the side. For the next part, I'm going to unlock the headrest and let it go back up because it makes it easier to reach this top edge here. This little white rod goes into the tunnel at the top of the fabric here and it then clips into place. Cameraman, if you can just zoom in to the top there, here, just show these little bits. So they're the little clips that this rod has to click into. So if you stay where you are, and then I'll just do this. So we just push this down. One, oh no, it's gone out again. The last one, just to push it to the side a little bit. And that's it, that's that click back into place. So now you just have to open the side of the fabric here where that big hole is where the zip hasn't been done up yet. You just grab the harness strap and pull it through to the front, one on that side and one down here. And then these zips can be closed. Then you just close the zip, one on this side and the other side. And now I need to put the harness back together and I find that the easiest way to do that is to do up the buckle that avoids any twist that you might otherwise get. So make sure that the hip strap is nice and flat same on this side, and then put the two parts of buckle together, 
and click them down into here. And then you take the end of the harness and pass it through the hole in the headrest. This one, and then this one. And then you just pull it through. So now I need to attach the harness straps to the bracket on the end here of the adjuster strap. Now the first thing you need to do, once you've come out of these holes, you tend to end up on top of this bar, but it's really important that the straps go behind that bar. So you need to pull those through first. And now the ends of the straps need to be reattached to this bracket. So you've just got to make sure that everything is flat and that this strap also has no twists in it and comes up in between this V strap here that's attached to the leg. So once you're sure that there are no twists or kinks anywhere, you then attach the straps one by one to this silver bracket. That one, and then that one. And now it's time to reattach the chest pads. And for that bit, you need the brackets and the screws that you saved before you'd wash the covers and a screwdriver with an Allen key attachment. Now, in order to get to the holes where you need to screw the chest pad um, loops back in, you need to push the headrest down a little bit because that there is the hole that the screw has to go into. So lock the headrest into place so that those holes don't move while you're screwing them in. So here is the chest pad that has a little fabric or strappy loop at the top and that loop goes into the same hole as the shoulder strap. But at the back there are two holes, one for the strap and one for that little strap on the chest pad. So you have to make sure that that loop comes through that top hole there. Now hold on to that loop quite tight and get the little pin that you saved earlier, put it through the loop. Make sure that that round bit on the end of it is pointing down and not up because it's not symmetrical. So you've got to point that down, line the hole in that thing up with the hole back here. And then you get the screw, put it in. And then get your Allen key screwdriver and oops, tighten up that screw. And that's one. And then you do the same with the other one. And I find if, it's, if you find it difficult to get that loop through that hole, it's easier to put your finger in the bottom hole and just push it through. And that's the second one done. And then you come back to the front of the seat and you have to open up the pad and put the strap inside it. And the strap goes underneath that Velcro bit and that closes over the top. And then you just do up the poppers, there's three of them, one, two, three, and then the same on the other side. Strap inside the pad and close the pad and do up the poppers. It is actually possible not to do all of this unscrewing if the pads aren't really, really dirty. You can actually just remove them like this and then peel off that Velcro. But that's not possible on all of them, and definitely not on some of the older models. So I, for this um, video, I did actually show how to take the whole thing apart and put it back together again. But you can just leave that Velcro strap in place if you want to. So that's the chest pads now in place. I'm just going to tighten up the harness, bring the headrest down to make sure that it's all working and all as it should be. And then there's just one final thing left to do, and that is to close the zip and do up the poppers. So do the zip, the zip cover first. Just fold these flaps because I tuck them under because it was easier to access the back but you can now fold them out close the zip and then just turn the seat sideways there's one popper here one here and one here and it's the same on the other side so there you go how to put the Axe Kid Mini Kid back together again after taking the covers off for washing thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.